utilized and rather people who were struggling to live in a pressure cooker environment of what we call asymmetric warfare. 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 Happy birthday, dear Chelsea. Happy birthday to you. Que los cumplas feliz. Que los vuelva cumplir. Que los siga cumpliendo. Hasta el año 3000. Feliz cumpleaños, Chelsea Manning. We hope next year you are with us free working with all of us for freedom and justice for all uh, between uh, yes uh, monday in fact and uh, and uh, saturday there will be events in uh starting alphabetical order berlin there will be two events in berlin one tonight and one on the 19th one in boston one in Chicago, uh, organized by uh, it's an LGBTQ liberation. We, uh, uh, one in Istanbul. In Istanbul, they have a party starting at four o'clock tonight, and it must be full swing because they're gonna go on until two, two a.m. So it's gonna be a big party uh, celebrating uh, Chelsea birthday birthday. Uh, there's one in Philadelphia tomorrow, organized again by Payday Mains Network. One in Rome. In Rome, they have a, a pizza party. Okay, and this is from U.S. Citizens for Peace and Justice. One in San Francisco. Now, the one in San Francisco is particularly important, and maybe we are trying. We want to say why. Uh, there's be there's gonna be a, a an event a speak out today in fact uh, uh, and an event where Tyler uh, um, uh, Esberg is expected. Uh, we were lucky enough to meet Daniel Esberg at the Barbican, and he uh, committed himself to uh, going to this event in San Francisco, where he lives around the area. Daniel Ellsberg is. Sorry, Daniel Ellsberg. Uh, I learned it uh, recently. <laughs> is uh, the one they revealed. Uh, the, the, it's the, the one, the whistleblower Pentagon. from Pentagon Papers. Okay. Well, he revealed the, all the misgivings and all the uh, uh, corruption the and the, 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 the lies that led. Uh, the U.S. into the uh, Vietnam War. Um, there's one. There was one in uh, in Venice yesterday. Uh, one in Panettone. One. Uh, there's gonna be one in Vancouver. And there's gonna be one in Washington. In Washington, they're gonna write uh, cars and letters. So they get together to write to Chelsea money. Letter. You must have seen, probably, and if you haven't, have a look on what happened in The Guardian today. Because The Guardian today published on the front page of the blog a series of letters by everybody. Who's everybody? <laughs> Who's anybody? Starting with uh, Snowden, in fact, and then going on to other very prominent people. But also, in The Guardian supplement, there are four pages all dedicated to Chelsea Manning. So Chelsea Manning is back on the agenda. And I think that uh, we all contribute to, contribute to this. So, happy birthday Chelsea Manning. Power to all big whistleblowers. Thank you. Everything taken away. 
Chelsea was locked up for 23 hours a day over a period of 11 months during solitary confinement. And it was really because of the international movement that got her moved out of Quantico because there was so much protest about the way she was being tortured there. Uh, her aunt said as well, Chelsea has been punished for releasing information to WikiLeaks. But what happened to the people responsible? The people in that helicopter gunship, for instance, yes. yeah. were they punished? That always plays heavily on my mind, she said, as indeed it does on all of ours. And Chelsea's mother says, Chelsea will be tw 27 years old on the 17th of December, and this will be the fifth birthday she spent in prison. It breaks my heart to think of her missing out on her freedom, all because she told the truth instead of covering it up. Chelsea was brought up to be truthful. When she was small, her grandmother, who lived with us, always said to the children, if you can't tell the truth, don't bother speaking. Yes. Bravo. <laughs> yes. And Bravo. I just wanted to say that there are, <clears throat> sorry, there are many ways in which Chelsea Manning is a whistleblower. One of the ways is that she blew the whistle <coughs> on San Francisco Pride because people may or may not know that last year she was nominated to be a Grand Marshal for San Francisco Pride, which is the biggest Pride event in the world. And uh, the officials in the organization revoked her um, Grand Marshal nomination on some pretext, basically saying it was against uh, America's interest, that it might endanger American lives or some bullshit like that. And basically what happened was that there was a huge mobilization of the LGBTQ community in San Francisco and, and really galvanized the movement, which also called, called out the way that the movement has been increasingly corporatized, the way that military recruiters were allowed to have booths at Pride, and it really galvanized a lot of anti-war and anti-corporate um, spirit within the movement, because let's not forget that the queer movement started, well, the recent queer movement started with the Stonewall riots, and that was a riot, okay? So I just wanted to say that there are many ways in which Chelsea is our queer, whistleblower heroine and we are determined that she will get out of prison and we will see her free before too long. Free Chelsea Manning. Free, free Chelsea, Chelsea Manning. Manning. Happy birthday Chelsea I'm Manning. International no, Jewish Anti-Zionist Network and one of the things that Chelsea Manning blew the whistle on was the relationship and the cover-up that was going on between the United States and Israel. And I think that's a really important connection to keep on drawing out, apart from the fact that the United States has been the main supplier of arms and money for the Israelis to bomb and murder Palestinians, as we saw in the recent July-August bombing of Gaza but also because the Palestinians made clear their connection with some of what was going on in the United States when from Gaza they sent messages to Ferguson saying we understand what it's like to be shot unarmed and murdered in the street and that every life has value whether you're Palestinian or black or whatever Bravo. and I want to note that particularly because just yesterday we got a horrendous verdict in this country yes. on Jimmy Mubenga's murderers. Shame in the United Kingdom government. They should Shame. not have been the only ones in the dock. G4S should have been in the dock as well. The corporation should have been in the dock for putting them in the position of being able to murder Jimmy Mubenga. But it's an absolute disaster that his murderers got off scot-free, all of them. And that was the judge, exactly. The judge gave directions which made it virtually impossible for that jury to do anything else. The ruling class was going to have its say, and they did. But it's all connected. Jimmy Mubenga was screaming, I can't breathe. And in New York, Mr. Garner was, Eric Garner, 
was saying, I can't breathe. And they're both dead at the hands of people who were just carrying out the orders of much higher ups. Yeah. And those are precisely the people that Chelsea Manning was blowing the whistle on, that Snowden is blowing the whistle on, and that so many others are blowing the whistle on. And we support all those whistleblowers, and we have got to all become whistleblowers. Yeah. Free Chelsea Manning now. I believe that uh, in this world we're never going to see uh, peace as long as uh, whistleblowers are going to be ostracized. Yeah. Um, uh, I believe that the world is uh, in a way upside down. As, um, we are promoting and making uh, uh, heroes, actually wrong heroes, who are uh, leading us to war. Um, and the uh, real heroes are being silenced, they're being put to prison. And, um, a little bit um, disappointed that uh, the public doesn't see it in a way. Apart from us. Yeah, bravo, yeah. beautiful. But as long as we're doing what we're doing, I think we can achieve a lot. Thank you. Bravo, bravo. Viva Chelsea Manning! We need Chelsea Manning to be free to continue her work and helping to, to do justice for the world, for all of us. And I mean for all of us, happy birthday, Chelsea Manning. We will be here for you until you get free. And all these people who made all this torture and who killed and who murdered the people are going to be held accountable. And we don't get tired until them get all held accountable and punished for what they are doing to people who should be honored, and they are our heroes. Chelsea Manning, um, Juliana Sanji, Edward Snowden, all our whistleblowers, Jeremy Hammond, Barrett Brown, they are our whistleblowers. We, we owe to them. They are our heroes, and we need to be for them. Don't keep quiet. Don't feel scared. Raise your voice for our whistleblowers, for Chelsea Manning. Chelsea Manning must be free. And all the people who torture people and kill people in the, Uni the United States, they are from the United States and allies. They, got, they must be held accountable in the international law. Thank you.